now let us solve this problem solve the recurrence relation an plus 4 into an minus 1 plus 4 into an minus 2 is equal to 5 into minus 2 whole power n where n is greater than or equal to 2 here at the right hand side the value is not equal to 0 so that means here f of n value is not equal to 0 so we know that if f of n is equal to 0 then we can call it as homogeneous recurrence relation whereas if f of n is not equal to 0 then we can call it as non-homogeneous recurrence relation so let us find out the order of this recurrence relation in order to identify the order of the recurrence relation we have to subtract the minimum value from the maximum value so here the minimum value is n minus 2 maximum value is n so n minus of n minus 2 means n n will be cancelled so minus of minus means plus so 2 so the first point you have to write is this is a second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation this is a second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation so we know the general solution for the non-homogeneous recurrence relation the general solution is a n equal to a n power h plus a n power p where h is homogeneous part p is particular solution so first let us find out a n power h homogeneous part homogeneous part means this right hand side value must be equals to 0 so we have to substitute 0 in the right hand side so a n plus 4 into a n minus 1 plus 4 into a n minus 2 equal to 0 so we know the auxiliary or characteristic of the second order homogeneous recurrence relation the auxiliary or characteristic equation of the second order homogeneous recurrence relation is yeah, it is a quadratic equation k square plus here the constant is 4 4 k plus here the constant is 4 equal to 0 so this is the direct formula the formula is k plus 2 whole square equal to 0 so here the k value is minus 2 comma minus 2 so here the roots are real and same real and same if the roots are real and same then the general solution is a n equal to a plus b n into k power n k power n so a n equal to a plus b n into what is k value minus 2 so minus 2 power n so this is nothing but homogeneous part let it be equation number 2 so a n power h is computed a n power h is computed that is a plus b n into minus 2 whole power n now let us calculate a n power p p stands for particular solution so here the formula is a n power p equal to phi into minus 2 whole power n so this is in the form f of n equal to alpha into b power n so this is in this form where alpha is nothing but phi b is nothing but minus 2 if we observe here this b value is present in the characteristic root what is b value minus 2 minus 2 is present twice in the characteristic roots so now the general solution is a n power p equal to the general solution is a naught into we have to write this b b power n into n power m this is the formula so a n power p equal to a naught into this b is nothing but this value minus 2 so minus 2 whole power n into n power m is nothing but m is called as multiplicity multiplicity so m means how many times this b value is present in the characteristic root here minus 2 is present twice so m value should be 2 so a naught into minus 2 power n into n square so this is nothing but a n power p so let us assume that this is equation number 3 now we have to substitute this a n value in the given recurrence relation so for space constraints i am erasing this portion we need this formula a n power h formula so let us substitute a n in the given recurrence relation so what is the first one a n so a n means a naught into a naught into minus 2 power n into 
n square plus 4 into a n minus 1 means a naught into minus 2 power in place of n we have to write n, n minus 1. Why? Because here we are computing n minus 1. So, minus 2 whole power n minus 1. Next one is n square. n square means in place of n we have to write n minus 1. So, n minus 1 whole square plus plus 4 into a n minus 2. So, 4 into a naught into n minus 2. In place of n we have to write minus 2. So, minus 2 whole power n minus 2 into in place of n we have to write n minus 1. So, n minus 1 whole square. I am sorry n minus 2. Now, we are computing what n minus 2 4 into a n minus 2. So, in place of n we have to write n minus 2. So, minus 2 whole power n, n minus 2 next n minus 2 whole power 2 is equal to 5 into minus 2 whole power n. So, let us substitute a n value in this equation. Now, we expand this one. So, a naught into minus 2 whole power n into n square plus plus 4 a naught 4 a naught into minus 2 whole power a into n minus 1 whole square n minus 1 whole square we know the formula a square minus 2 a b 2 a b means 2 n plus b square means 1 plus 4 a naught 4 a naught yeah here we have minus 2 whole power n minus 1 also so minus 2 whole power n minus 1 next plus 4 a naught into n minus 2 whole square so n square minus 2ab means 4n plus b square means 4 into minus 2 whole power n minus 2 is equal to 5 into minus 2 whole power n. So, let us write this a n power h here a n power h is equal to what is the formula a plus b n into a plus b n into minus 2 whole power n. So, what is the relation number 2 yeah let us expand this one yeah if we observe here here we have minus 2 whole power n minus 2, here we have minus 2 power n. So, we can divide numerator, yeah, we can divide the left hand side as well as right hand side with minus 2 whole power n minus 2. Why? Because we will get this minus 2 power n minus 2, this will be cancelled. So, divide left hand side and right hand side with minus 2 whole power n minus 2. So, here we will get a naught into, let us write n square here, n square into minus 2 whole power n by divide each term with minus 2 whole power n minus 2 plus if you see here multiply 4 a naught with this equation. So, now we will get now we will get now we will get yeah 4 a naught minus 2 whole power n minus 1 yeah 4 a naught 4 a naught into n square means 4 a naught n square next plus into minus means minus 4 into 2 means 8 8 a naught n 8 a naught n next plus 4 a naught 4 a naught into 1 means 4 a naught so 4 a naught n square minus 4 into 2 means 8 8 a naught n plus 4 a naught into minus 2 whole power n minus 1 by divide each term with minus 2 whole power n minus 2 minus 2 whole power n minus 2 plus next multiply 4 a naught with this one. So, now we will get 4 a naught n square. So, plus into minus minus minus. So, 4 into 4 16 16 a naught n 16 a naught n next plus 16 a naught plus 16 a naught. So, 4 a naught n square minus 16 a naught n plus 16 a naught into minus 2 whole power n minus 2 by divide with minus 2 whole power n minus 2 is equal to what is the RHS 5 into minus 2 whole power n by minus 2 whole power n minus 2. If you observe here a naught into n square into this is in the form of a power m by a power n. So, we can write it as a power m minus n. So, minus 2 whole power, we can write this as minus 2 whole power, we can write this as minus 2 whole power n minus n plus 2. So, n n will be cancelled. So, minus 2 whole square. 
So minus 2 whole square means plus minus 2 whole square. So that means minus 2 into minus 2 that is nothing but plus 4. So 4 a naught n square. Next if we observe these two terms minus 2 whole power n minus 1 minus n plus 2 minus n plus 2 n n will be cancelled. So 2 minus 1 means 1. So minus 2 whole power 1 is nothing but minus 2. So here we will have minus 2 minus 2. So minus 2. So we have to multiply with 2 minus 2 multiply with minus 2. So now we will get minus 2 into 4 means minus 8 a naught n square 2 into 4 means 8. Next here we have minus minus into minus means plus. So 2 into 8 means 16 a naught n. Next minus into plus means minus 2 into 4 means 8 8 a naught. So this is this term. So minus 2 whole power n minus 1 by minus 2 whole power n minus 2. That can be written as minus 2 whole power minus 1. So minus 2 whole power minus 1 is nothing but minus 2. So multiply each term with minus 2. So minus 8 a naught n square minus into minus means plus 2 into 8 means 16 16 a naught a naught n minus into plus means minus 2 into 4 means 8 a naught plus if you observe here here we have minus 2 whole power n minus 2 here we have minus 2 whole power n minus 2 so that will be cancelled so 4 a naught n square minus 16 a naught n plus 16 a naught 4 a naught n square minus 16 a naught n plus 16 a naught is equal to if you observe here here we have minus 2 whole power n minus 1 various denominator is minus 2 whole power n minus 2 so n minus n plus 2 so minus 2 whole square is nothing but 4 so 4 into 5 is nothing but 20 so here the result is 20 20 so 20 so if you observe here here we have 4 a naught n square here we have 4 a naught n square so 8 a naught n square here we have minus 8 a naught n square so this will be cancelled next if we observe n n value here we have 16 a naught n here we have minus 16 a naught n so these two will be cancelled here we have minus a naught here we have plus 16 a naught 16 minus 8 means 8 so we can say that 8 a naught equal to 20 so what is a naught value 20 by 8 so 20 by 8 means 4 5 4 2 so what is a naught value 5 by 2 what is a naught value 5 by 2 now we have to substitute a naught value in equation 3 in equation 3 substitute a naught value okay why because we know the solution for the uh, particular solution a and p equal to a naught what is a naught 5 by 2 into minus 2 whole power n into n square so now we have homogeneous part as well as particular solution part so now let us substitute this homogeneous solution and the particular solution in this formula so what is the solution a n equal to a n power h what is n power h already it is computed a plus b n into minus 2 whole power n plus what is particular solution 5 by 2 into minus 2 whole power n into n square so if you observe here minus 2 whole power n is common in both the terms so a plus b n plus 5 by 2 into n square here a naught value as well as a1 value is not given. Suppose if a naught and a1 are given, then we need to substitute here and we have to derive a and b values and we need to substitute them. But in this problem, a naught and a1 are not given. So, this is the general solution for this problem. So, likewise, we can solve the problem very, very easily. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.